I love it. You lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I lie. Oh, you poor creature. I know, I know, I know. I'm hopeless. No, you're not. No. Mm -hmm. Shows promise. You just, you need, you need a little help. You do. <laughs> yeah. I've got to admit. But you know what? You're not building a dessert shop by yourself. You have an architect, right? What are you, the gingerbread genius or something? <laughs> just so happens. I want to toot my own horn, you know what I'm saying? What are we calling this little cavity inducing wonderland anyway? Oh, I don't know. I wanted to give the girls a fairy tale, you know, complete with gumdrops and licorice. Huh. But this is far from a fairy tale, isn't it? Oh, I don't know about that. A little peppermint paved patio might do the trick. I'm not talking about the house. Ah. Yep. What are we doing? You mean like right now? I mean, we're living together like an old married couple, and, and we're not even married. And or old. We're just, we're raising the kids, and we're, we're just going about life. Only I don't feel like I'm living, and I don't think you are either. Well, what, what are you saying? Did you... you, you... You want to try again? No, we both know how that would turn out. So you, uh, you want to try with somebody else? Maybe multiple somebody else's? Not, you know, no judgment here. Opal thinks that we're shortchanging ourselves. For God's sake, woman, you discuss it with Opal. She what? thinks that we should, you know, get out there. What do you think? I think it's easier said than done. I know, because I've tried. That's what I'm afraid of. Dating. I mean, what if I just don't have what it takes anymore? What? Are you crazy? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You got what it takes and then some. Really? Yeah. You're not just saying that. Yeah, I'm saying You're not just saying that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal, all right? I will try to get back on the horse, if you will. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen, right? I got a feeling we're about to find out. Hey. Hey. Mm, how'd the party go? Oh, it was a real rager. No, I'm just kidding. No one showed except me and Scott. I guess your family wasn't really in the mood to celebrate. Hmm. Scott must be worried about the trial. Yeah, he's definitely worried about something. I just wish I knew what it was. You lost me there. Liza thinks that your dad may have some kind of a backup plan. You know, an ace in the hole to get Annie acquitted. That? Or his plan is to sell her out. Why would he do that? All he does is talk about how much he loves her. Because I just up the stakes. Colby's moved back in. Ah, wonderful news, isn't it? Yeah, and a surprise. Colby made it pretty clear that she'd never accept Annie. Why the sudden change of heart? My daughter wants a relationship with me. And if she's willing to put up with Annie to get it, then uh, I guess Colby's, um, well, learned to live with that. <laughs> so Colby's okay with that? Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, you're still committed to getting Annie acquitted. Of course I am. What kind of a question is that? I just, I know how important your kids are to you, and I'm sure the thought has crossed your mind now that Colby's back, JR and little A will follow. I'm not delusional, Scott. I know that your cousin is not gonna move back into this house as long as Annie is in it. And you're okay with that? I love my wife. You should know that better than anyone. Dance was so nice. A much needed break. Mm. Mm. No dramas, no trials, no companies to run. <laughs> Just us and the music. I could really get used to that. I'm counting on it. You know, I know we talked about this before, but 
when when this is all over, when Annie is in prison and Emma is safe and Kendall is home, I want to just focus on us, on you and me. I don't want to see where that goes. I'd like that. <laughs>